the truth about Prince William and Kate's marriage. Number 18. Their wedding date was officially considered a national holiday. Kate and Will both tied the knot at Westminster Abbey on April 29, 2011. Their wedding date was declared a national holiday given to British territories, Turks, and Bermuda, as well as Caicos and the Falkland Islands. The couple first met in 2001 in college, where they both attended St. Andrews in Scotland. Kate actually got really shy and started blushing and ran off when she met William for the first time. Kate is also the first royal wife in British history to have a degree. She has a master's degree in the history of art and William majored in geography. Number 17 spared no expense. The total cost of the wedding came out to a shocking $34 million. Their venue was free of charge, but the two cakes cost $80,000 and the flowers cost a whopping $800,000. And we can't forget about Kate's dress, which totaled out $434,000. Those are insane amounts of money, but would you expect anything less from a royal family? Number 16, no makeup artist needed. Kate took four makeup lessons from a makeup artist in London and did her own makeup for the wedding. Her makeup teacher, Arabella Preston, was supposed to come on her big day, but she didn't have to. Kate was comfortable and confident enough to do it herself. Number 15, Ellie Goulding. Famous British singer Ellie Goulding performed at the royal wedding. She sang her own version of Elton John's Your Song as the couple's first dance. Ellie said she was so nervous about performing for the royal wedding, her hands were shaking. Number 14, no ring exchange. You would think the fancy royal bride and groom would have a point in their wedding when they show off and exchange their wedding rings, but that wasn't the case. If you're a big fan of the royal couple, you may have noticed that the Duke of Cambridge doesn't wear a wedding ring. In fact, he doesn't wear any jewelry. William made the decision to ditch the tradition and go ringless. It was his personal preference and something him and Kate discussed prior to the wedding. Maybe he got the quirk from his grandfather, Prince Philip, because he never wore a ring either. So ring exchange only went one way in this wedding. Prince William isn't one to wear jewelry, but Kate's engagement ring, of course, is to no surprise, the same sapphire and diamond stunner that Prince William's mother, Princess Diana, wore. Prince Harry had been keeping the ring safe, but when he found out William wanted to propose, he happily handed it over. Number 13, watched by billions. According to several news outlets, the royal wedding was watched by 2 billion people worldwide. Almost 23 million of those were in the United States alone. According to a poll for ITV News, one in three Britons will try to avoid watching the royal wedding. 75% of people said the event would help Britain's reputation, and I'm sure it did because almost everyone in the world was watching. Number 12, the guest list. The beautiful royal ceremony was held at the Westminster Abbey, the venue was packed with famous faces and well-known people in the United Kingdom, as well as around the world. Close to 2,000 people crammed in to watch the wedding. Nobles and celebrities like Victoria and David Beckham were there in person to witness the couple exchange vows. Number 11, prenup. Despite advice from family and royal advisors, William refused to get a prenuptial agreement on his wedding to Kate. He was told that it might be a good idea to get some kind of legal agreement, but he loves and trusts Kate so much that he made it very clear that no legal deal was necessary. Number 10, how their marriage has changed. It's already been six years since Prince William and Kate Middleton walked down the aisle. Oh, how time flies, and it seems like just yesterday they were glued to each other's arms. But lately, they have been a little rocky and having some marriage issues. It may seem like they have the perfect love story, but Kate and William broke up for a while in 2007. Kate said they were both really young and they were in college and still trying to find themselves. It worked out for the better in the long run because it allowed both of them to grow and mature and grow within themselves before settling down. If they never did that for themselves, they might not be married today. Kate married William when she was 29 years old, making her the oldest bride in royal history. Princess Diana was only 20 when she married Prince Charles. Number 9. A chance to escape royalty. Right after the two got engaged, Kate had done interviews about pressures of the public eye and always being in the limelight and how she felt about it. William gave her a chance to back out of the royal life if she realized it wasn't for her. William said in an interview, I wanted to give her a chance to see in and to back out if she needed to before it all got too much. I'm trying to learn from lessons done in the past and I just wanted to give her the best chance to settle in and to see what happens on the other side. But Kate was willing to deal with the public life and decided to stay and go all in. Number eight. The breakup. 
As you can imagine, being in a long-term relationship with the future King of England has way more pressure than a regular breakup. The couple mutually decided to split up in 2007. They had been spending more and more time apart from each other and Kate was becoming more frustrated with William's party ways. Kate was devastated and heartbroken over the breakup, but like a lot of young, love relationships, the couple got back together shortly after. In 2010, William and Kate reflected on their breakup in an interview, and Kate talked about how she wasn't thrilled about the breakup when it first happened. She says she wasn't very happy about it at all, but it made her a stronger person, and she has learned things about herself she maybe wouldn't have realized before if the breakup didn't happen. It's easy to get consumed by a relationship when you're young, but you have to realize you need to live for yourself as well, not just for someone else. Number seven, the dress that brought them together. They had once met through mutual friends. The event that had Prince William locked in was Kate's catwalk during a charity fashion show at St. Andrews in 2002. The famous dress that brought them together is now a collector's item. Kate was wearing a sheer dress. The dress was designed by Charlotte Todd and was sold at an auction in 2011 for a colossal 78,000 British pounds or almost 103,000 US dollars. Number six, the royal allowance. Prince Charles is in charge of taking care of royal funds to cover the expenses of public life for his daughter-in-law, two sons, and wife Camilla. The dependents got a portion of about $5 million to cover wardrobe costs, travel expenses, and whatever else comes up in the daily life of a royal family. Prince Charles gets a total allowance of around $31 million. The exact amount that Will and Kate get is not known to the public. It's known that Kate and William pay for their own personal things, such as assistants and nannies. Number five. There's a novel based on their relationship. The book is called The Royal We. In April 2015, Jessica Morgan and Heather Cox published a novel inspired by William and Kate's journey to the altar. The book actually became a bestseller. The book is not entirely Will and Kate's story. It was more of an idea and based upon things put out to the media. And they had the freedom to create the rest and imagine what the behind the scenes were really like of their love story. Number four, Coat of Arms. Since Kate comes from a regular non-royal family, the Queen awarded her family with an honorary coat of arms when she got married to William in 2011. The coat of arms bears three acorns, which represents the three Middleton children, Kate, James, and Pippa. And the background shows the area in England where Kate's family originated. Number three, pregnancy. Giving birth to the future prince and princess is pressure enough, but Kate also suffered from severe morning sickness with both children. It wasn't your typical nausea in the morning. This illness basically lasts all day, 24 seven. This condition is relatively rare. It only affects less than 3% of pregnant women. Kate had to go to the hospital multiple times to get IV fluids so she wouldn't get dehydrated. It's dangerous for both the baby and the mother to go through this. She also had to cancel some public engagements and was hospitalized for a few days during the beginning of her pregnancy. Number two, fascinating facts. There were 327 million photographs taken of the royal wedding. Nikon did research and said one in six photos are expected to be posted of or about the marriage on social media websites. A hotel called Alexandra Hotel in Derby offered a wedding free event for people who wanted to get away from the royal wedding talk and drink and relax without all the hassle. They banned the words wedding and royal and if anyone said those words, they had to donate to the swear box set up in the hotel bar. Prince William and Kate Middleton spent their wedding night at the Buckingham Palace. All previous royal couples generations before them have left London after their wedding to begin their honeymoon. This one is pretty crazy. Airline passengers were able to participate in an onboard street party on long flights. That day on April 29th, Virgin Atlantic handed out tea and wedding cake, and the crew members and flight attendants were dressed up as wedding guests. Another fun fact, William and Harry's uniforms on wedding day were sweatproof. They had custom-made military attire with sweatproof materials inside in hopes to not let sweat show through the uniforms and to keep them cool for the ceremony. Number one, the wedding cake. The cake was a gorgeous eight-tier cake covered in white frosting, pearls, lace, and flowers. Kate gave the baker 17 different leaves and flowers that she wanted on the cake, so the baker picked a few and incorporated them into the design. Kate had a lot of input and say in the wedding and what she wanted. The wedding was very grand, but also very personal and had lots of meaning to it. 
They also had a piece of lace from Kate's wedding dress put onto the cake as well. The flowers she wanted to use were four flowers to represent the four nations in the United Kingdom. She chose shamrocks for Ireland, daffodils for Wales, thistle for Scotland, and roses for England. William had his favorite chocolate biscuit fudge cake made. The two cakes cost a whopping $80,000. The Duchess of Cornwall planted a tree at St. Mary's Church in Tetbury to represent the wedding cake and the marriage. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.